Well, should be live right now. So we seeing who we got in here. Shout out to everybody that's watching this video back. Shouldn't be too many problems. You know, people gonna start rolling in here real soon. But yeah, this is about no podcast, man. What's going on? Three people in here already. Jesus Cruz, Michelle Supreme, Paddington Bear. How was your day, Michelle Supreme? Day is cool so far. It's all right. It's modest. Yeah. But yeah. No. Shout out to everybody that's watching. Neil Clips, Xavier the Virgo, Jordan Ambrose. You heard about Cardi B being exposed? Being exposed for what, Jordan Ambrose? What did she get exposed for? For what? Jumping that um dude at Met Gala on some ratchet shit? Or is it the fake Nicki Minaj shit? You out here, fam. What's going on? X, yo, bro. What's up, bro? Flag out season. Hey, mid lord. What's up? Kia Aura. What? What the hell? SSD. What's going on, bro? Flair. What's going on? Justin Sanders. What's going on? Niggas is common. <laughs> uh, the guy who comments. What's up, bro? But yeah, y'all gonna ask me some. What y'all wanna talk about? Broken name. You know what happened with Garby Flea? You feel me? If he can name that. You know what I'm saying? What's up, Anthony Bambino? What's up, man? Well, comments just slowed down. Yo, what's up, G? First time here. What's going on, First 38? You vegan? Slightly. Oh, no, vegan. <laughs> Keep doing your thing, bro. Your vids be having me dead. You watch the NFL, bro? Nah, I don't watch the NFL. Like I said before, them niggas is... You want to watch people have brain damage, you feel me? Good for you. For entertainment. I view that shit as slavery, bro. I view that shit as slavery, man. I don't care what nobody say. I view the NFL niggas as rich slaves. Can you explain why you don't like Kyle? I know he corny as a motherfucker, but Duke can spit and he is a good artist. Because you have to, you know, make some type of correlation with just, you know, the um, the roots of hip-hop. If you just come in the game, like, on some corny shit, at least try, like, at least what I can say with logic is that he at least tries to make passionate music about subjects and shit like that. Kyle is just corny. He's a pop artist, you feel me? Like, oh, he can spit. Yeah, okay, whatever. Vanilla Ice can spit, my nigga. Still don't mean he dropped no real shit. Thoughts on raw meat consumption? Savages. That's all I have to say. Savages. Would you view NBA players as rich slaves? I just view, yeah, they are rich slaves, but a lot of them are way more intelligent than... NFL, you know, players. You got people like Ray Allen, you know what I'm saying, deeper thinkers, Kobe Bryant. Just look at it, bro. Just look at it. <laughs> you can see the intelligence level between NFL players and NBA players. The dumbest position for the NBA is the centers. The centers be like, you know, the dummies. You know what I'm saying? Nowadays. But, you know, your point guards have to be like a general. Your shooting guards have to have point guard, you know, skills. Your small forwards have to have point guard skills, which are just like leadership positions. Your power forward has to have post move, all type of things. They're more versatile. I'm just talking about the skill set. The NFL, the offensive and the defensive linemen are some fucking meatheads who all they have is pure strength and a, a spin move every now and, now and then. You feel me? And... Come on now, my nigga. I don't want to talk about that shit, bro. Fuck out of here. When I was... Talk about DBZ and attention. Black Thought, MF Doom. Lyrically, Black Thought, MF Doom got to give us something like how, you know, Black Thought did on the on the Funk Flex Freestyle. <sighs> talk about DBZ and uh, ascension. I will let her. When I was meditating yesterday, I think I felt my nerve cells. You'll feel the electricity in your body, bro. You'll feel like shocks. Yeah, I watch boxing. I watch boxing. Do NBA players get black cards like rappers do? What are you talking about? Like, what, the, the card with all the money that can hold, what, up to $500,000 or something like that? The black cards? That they wise be going on shopping sprees with and shit? Of course, you think 
rapper nigga a majority of rappers don't make money that NFL that NBA players make. You feel me? Niggas don't make money at all compared to NBA players. If we got a couple billionaires in hip hop compared to a bunch of niggas that's barely making millions and five million here and there, but NBA contracts have two hundred million, five year two hundred thirty five million and three years one sixty five million come on now, bro. Do you believe in life after death? Watch the last fucking live stream, bro. I'm sorry to, you know, be like that. What's your thoughts on holographic universe theory, bro? I know you probably know a lot about it, but I've never heard you speak about it. Really? Really, bro? I'm going to advise all y'all to go to Nashina Loves Cake channel. I'm going to spell it out in the comment section. I'm tired of seeing comments like this. Y'all go sub to Sis channel. I don't want to hear that shit. She got all my old videos. I'm tired of y'all asking that shit, bro. That's the name of it. Nashina Loves Cake, bro. Go sub to it. Stop asking me that shit. You know what I'm saying? You talk you just talked about energy and body. You mean that Kundalini ish? What you against it? Kundalini ish is way more than that. And it's a fact. You have electricity running through your body. Keep believing that. You know what I'm saying? This is something that's documented. So if you're trying to be slick and trying to, you know, try to make fun of that, well go look it up. It's proven. It's documented. It's scientifically proven, bro. Not just a theory. You have electricity in your body. You made a point about XXX Tentacion being received differently if he beat up a man and not a woman. Do you think rap will ever move away from violence and it will be perceived as becoming soft? They trying to soften it up now in the mainstream, but that's one of the roots of hip-hop is that it's just everything, bro. It's just everything, my nigga. Talk about Garby Flea getting ran off IG by Azealia Stanks. Hey man, it, I told y'all it was coming sooner or later. You niggas didn't believe me. Nobody believed the nigga though. You feel me? Nobody believed the nigga. You feel me? So what? Fuck that shit. I don't want to talk about her getting ran off on IG. I told y'all it was gonna happen. You know what I'm saying? It's like, come on now, bro. But what I was gonna say is that being perceived as soft, hip hop being perceived as soft is like they're trying to do it now, but. Hip hop roots, it comes from being able to talk about whatever. You know what I'm saying? It comes from being able to talk about whatever and being rebellious. How the hell are you gonna try to change a genre in which was known for being rebellious and try to tame it? That don't make sense. Y'all promoted it like that. Now we in a generation of Me Too and you know feminism and all this and you know you know them alluding to Oprah running for president and your president is grabbing by the pussy and now um, slut walks are going around and all of this shit, right? So this women empowerment thing is going on, but yet y'all promoted this shit. The same industry that's trying to take it down was the same industry that boosted this shit up. You feel me? Hilarious to me. Jordan Ambrose said, "Is Infinite Waters trustworthy when it comes to the third eye, bro? I don't listen to Infinite Waters. I don't listen to niggas that sit up there and do that old peaceful voice and just all that. You know what I'm saying? Because it's it's not realistic, my nigga." It's probably a front. A majority of the time, it's probably a front. That nigga probably beat on his woman, bro, and be loud as he'll be a whole 180 person off that fucking screen. You see, peace, infinite waters. Beating the shit up. <laughs> Bitch, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> you feel me? So it's good to just be who you are on this motherfucker, bro. No need to front. None of that shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? I don't trust no nobody but myself, bro. Yeah, I remember when I first started meditating last year, when you first started talking about spirituality, you get like a high feeling like right after you done. Yeah, when you meditate, like they call it sun gazing, but I closed my eyes when I used to sun gaze in California. When you wake, when you, um, after you done meditating, you open your eyes and everything is just like light blue. You feel me? It's light blue. You know what you're supposed to do with the energy in your body? Yeah, you're supposed to utilize it. You're supposed to manifest it, brain power, along with the heart chakra. You feel me? Some say the heart chakra is the most important thing because of your passion and, you know, just that's what, along with manifesting things, comes a passion for what you're trying to manifest. You have to feel it. You have to imagine yourself in that situation. You have to believe that you're in those situations. You have to be descriptive about what you're trying to manifest, all of that. But it has to come from your heart chakra. 
You know, they say the heart is broken up into a whole bunch of pieces and, you know, spirits, eh, all type of other shit, but you know, it's a chakra. You can feel it if you meditate. Like, if you deep into meditation, you'll feel where those chakras are. You really will. You know I mean? It's not a joke. You'll feel the crown chakra. I feel the pineal, you know what I'm saying, that chakra, you feel it, man. You feel like your pineal gland beating. You know, it's not a front. Naruto is real. I've I've never, you know what I'm saying, I wasn't big on that shit, so I couldn't tell you. I can already feel that shit. It's not nice. Well, go to Christianity, bro. Go be Christian. Go be a Hebrew Israelite. Go be a he Hebrew beat my wife. You feel me? Go be one of them, bro. Be some of them, bro. Maybe. Y'all comments moving in slow, but I bet when I watch this back, it's going to be a whole other comments. They tell you in these little cartoons and shit. Of course. Of course. You know, done videos on that as well. It's not about religion. It's just what I feel. Well, all right, bro. You got to keep going back and forth with me about it. You don't remember that little dude with the sand pouch? Yeah, Gara. His name Gara. I watched a little bit of Naruto. You feel me? A little bit with my little cousin. He was big on that shit. I was big on you know. Um, Yu Yu Hakusho, and he was big on Naruto, and um, you know, what's that other one? In Yu Yasha. You feel me? So when he would try to watch that shit, I'd be trying to pop in my DVD for watching. Yu Yu Hakusho. So I'd see Gara versus Rock Lee and you know you know Naruto and all that shit. I saw it. I saw like a green type blue yesterday and I felt amazing. That's what's up, bro. You still meditate. Sometimes when I meditate after 20 to 30 minutes of deep breathing techniques, I start vibrating so hard that I can't even meditate. Last time my parents asked me if I was on drugs because I was vibrating. That shit happened to me too sometimes, bro. I mean, slightly. You get those shocks. You feel me? That vibrating, bro, is like you about to go to the astral realm too, by the way. You, if you feel that, you know, the electricity in your body. That happened to me before. Twice. I only astral projected, like, through actual meditation twice. While being conscious. I mean, it's a form of being unconscious, but still conscious. You feel me? But yeah, what up, CK? What's going on, Broken Dreams? I want to come on a podcast and discuss some things with you. Well, hit me up on IG, bro. Overachiever Jones. Hit me up in the DMs, bro. Tell me your YouTube name. Verify that it's you. <laughs> and we'll set one up. Really ain't feeling that last one. I ain't even going to lie. Shout out to Sis, but... That last one, you know, I just don't know. I just don't know anymore. I don't know anymore. Serious question. You know why vibrations are felt in the testicles? I don't know, nigga. Go research it. Stop asking me stuff, bro. What was astral projection like for you? No, I wouldn't consider too short lyrical. That nigga the furthest thing from lyrical. I always thought it was whack. Whack as hell. Just like Ice-T. Whack as a motherfucker. I don't blame the East Coast for thinking that West Coast music was whack, man. Them niggas that was starting off was whack as a motherfucker, bro. It didn't take till Ice Cube and, you know, a couple of more artists started showing themselves out. You feel me? Niggas was whack as a motherfucker, bro. What was Astral Projection like for me? It was cool. Hey, bro, put me on the podcast. Y'all be, every time I hit y'all up about that shit, y'all niggas take forever to message back. So that's why this one is running like this, you feel me? So I don't even, I don't feel like doing this shit no more. Fuck that shit, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Fuck it. It's <laughs> crazy. Uh, uh. Yo, did you say ask questions, but then questions about testicles type? Wow. 
Yeah, man. Come on now. I mean, that nigga, what the hell? Go look that shit up yourself, bro. Nigga, go look that shit up. You got some testicular disease or something, my nigga. Go, 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 go get checked out, my guy. <laughs> Hey, when I talk about meditating and kundalini and chakras, my parents who are Christians tell me it's satanic. And when I tell them that the Bible says it, they say meditate as in he in deep thought. Well, go look up the etymology between the words and go look up where those words come from, bro. Prove it to them, my nigga. You got to do research. If you want to eat or something, do, do your research. If you're trying to eat through your parents to, to the point to where... It ain't even worth it, my nigga. What the fuck you talk? I mean, I feel you, but you gotta get over that shit, bro. These no everybody ain't meant to be woken up. You feel me? You said this is my little bro coming back on the podcast. I tried to get him on today. He called me and then I called him back and he ain't pick up and I missed the call and all that shit. So I said, you know what, nigga? Fuck it. No podcast. You know what I'm saying? The comments are further. You have to pose yourself with this information. Like you don't get no ass. Woo, woo, woo. What you talking about, bro? Like you don't get no ass. Woo, woo, woo. What are you talking about? What the fuck is these niggas commenting, bro? Niggas weird. Fuck wrong with him. Nigga said something about Azealia Banks chasing Garby Flea off Instagram. I gotta go check that out. That's hilarious. But hey, told y'all niggas that shit was coming regardless of that shit. People being fangirls and stand girls because the mainstream tell them to. And you know, she said all that shit about black women. And now all of a sudden, it comes to fruition. Do you believe in the pole shift? I gotta research it. I don't know. You know, explain in further detail. Compose. What? Schoolboy Kendrick. Yeah, I think Schoolboy better than Kendrick. You know? Maybe I'm biased because I grew up on Fig and he from Fig too. You know what I'm saying? Maybe that's what it is. Also, I thought this was interesting. When it talks about nation against nation in the bible goes back to nation ethnos meaning which means race part of research is asking questions i figured you knew more than i i'm waiting for you to explain it bro teach me something well, how you figuring i know more than you that's where you take a l at how many people did you put on to this information in real life rather than the internet i tried dozens my nigga Grew up, I ain't gonna say which street, I've said it several times, but on my block around 17 to 16 years old, I had the books, was letting people, you know, trying to put them on. I'm trying to put people onto information because I want my people to do better, better as, you know, just a, a community. And giving them, you know, showing off the ISIS paper books, showing off the Hiram Key books, showing off, you know, the Emerald Tablets of Thoth. And people just looking at it crazy like, oh, yeah, that's what's up, that's what's up. You feel me? I'm talking about hood people. I'm talking about motherfuckers on Section 8, you feel me? Motherfuckers in the hood, smoke weed every day, no job, slanging dope, you feel me? Shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Yo, drop a freestyle, bro. And that composed comment was me correcting someone else in the chat. I tried putting several people on the information, bro. They just don't care, my nigga. Just got off from work. The perfect time, man. That's what's up. The first 38, you are your own student and teacher. That's a fact. How you feel about Rihanna friend zoning Drake and admitting she was uncomfortable by his VMA speech? She a hoe. Fuck that hoe. You hear me? She got her a, a, a Saudi Arabian ma slave master, bro. You know what I'm saying? And black women are, you know, praising that shit. Who gives a fuck? If she friends on and Drake, she just found a nigga with more money, bro. She found her a Saudi Arabian slave master. You feel me? 
That's all she did. She found her uh, an Arabian master. Fuck that hoe. <laughs> she a high class prostitute. What you could high quote unquote class prostitute, my nigga. Who gives a fuck? You know what I'm saying? And females that post her, they show their inner prostitution. You feel me? They sh they're showing their inner prostitute. You know what I'm saying? Hey yo, can you rap? I am legitimately curious. I'm alright. You feel me? I'm alright. Certain times you get in them zones where you just flowing. You know what I'm saying? Hey, that Gambino hype is crazy. Notice how they don't center censor showing black people getting shot. News outlets clearly describing black people getting shot and what it represents. Like killing is cool. Man, you got motherfuckers like Billboard, U.S. Now, um, Today America. I can't even name all these motherfucking CBS, Fox, and NBC all reporting on it and trying to dissect it. You don't get y'all weird asses on somewhere. Y'all didn't give a fuck about black people or just black consciousness in the black community until this dude who was dating interracially said something. You feel me? Or just puts a video out there like that. Come on, man. It's very irritating to have to repeat yourself after you've explained a lot of shit so many times. Of course. Of course. That's why I be hot sometimes. You feel? That's why I just be hot on here. Niggas don't be understanding, bro. You know what I'm It takes a lot of patience for somebody to keep regurgitating information for people that watch my shit and still be asking the same shit. You know what I'm saying? All of these Instagram models middle class prostitutes I was wondering how they got no job but they're in Dubai now I know why like man, man it's, it's continuing you know what I'm saying you ever heard of the little black book it was a book that came out in the 80s and was basically a handbook that informed black people how to operate had sections with their rights health info etc nah I mean I think I did hear of it but that's crazy you know it's crazy to me that I didn't find out about Khalid Muhammad until like around being a late teenager. You feel me? Around 18, 19. And this was something, this was a person that came to LA, did speeches, and you know, was all over the place. So to see my parents and just my, you know, family didn't inform me about this nigga, that was crazy to me. That, that tripped me out. And even Bobby Hemmings and, you know, a bunch of other individuals, the black historians, or Dr. Sebi. All these motherfuckers was around L.A. Nobody told me nothing about them, bro. Found out about them later. I was fucked up. It's real fucked up. But you know, black people will ignore solutions. But they know all easy e shit. They do all N.W.A. They do all that shit. You know what I'm saying? Shit crazy. Nah, bro. The first few podcasts were dope. And it's refreshing to see different mindsets, share info. But yeah, Shorty represents how a lot of black people and everyone is on a different level of consciousness and research. Gambino apparently flashing six signs at Gala's and wearing pyramids on his back. Then I see people dick ride. The gang got transparent as fuck. Torrent Blaze, bro. He in a fucking picture kissing a white man and holding a white man's butt and the white man is holding his butt too. They say he did it for one of his shows, The Community or 30 Rock. But either way, people that you know is trying to praise Gambino, black men on YouTube, y'all ignoring that shit, you feel me? Not talking about people in my comment section, but you know, a lot of these popular or just, you know, just niggas with a little following for bashing black women. They ignoring that shit and trying to make it see, yeah, when he did interracially, they mad. Nigga, he gay. He is what he is, bro. You feel me? That picture exists, my nigga. And he was smiling, bro. That told me everything I needed to know about dude. He's the perfect example of a compromised black man. His whole video is pretentious. You feel me? He's one of the people that gave up on the black community, got him a white woman after saying he wasn't going to do it. You know what I'm saying? And he's flexing on y'all, showing y'all all y'all problems. Like, yeah, look at me. I don't have to be direct with my video or my message. I'm going to use satire and, you know, put subliminal Im images out there and let y'all figure it out because I don't want to be direct with y'all. I want y'all to use y'all brain and be smart and put it together. Look at me. I got a white girl now. Y'all black women didn't like me. Now I'm flexing on y'all. You feel me? That's his mindset. When I see that nigga, that's just what I see, you feel me? Y'all asked me about, you know, have you read the spook who sat by the door? You look, you remind me of the main character. Again, you know, you already said that. No, I haven't read the spook that sat by the door. I'm going to end up eventually getting it. You're the second person that mentioned it. 
I can't really explain the post shift, but check out Remedy H channel for info on it. All right, I'm gonna put that in the you know the suggestion box. Got to get the energy to rise, most definitely. Just learned about the Black Panthers yesterday. We got like one sentence about them being a racist, radical, pro-black group. From where? From school? From school, bro? Of course. You know, you got to look at who they shun and who they, you know, um, put up to the pedestal. Of course, they'll call them a racist, ra radical, pro-black black group. What they want us to be, you feel me? What do they want us to be? Suckers, you know what I'm saying? Y'all over here throwing bricks at us and shit and sicking dogs and putting water holes on us and lynching us. Well, we supposed to be complying and be in order with y'all now. We supposed to not have pride within ourselves and just be aligned with y'all. You feel me? Retarded shit, bro. Fuck them folks. Fuck them school books, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Fuck what they teaching. Yeah, root chakra. Yeah, that's what it is. Do you believe in astrology that the public has been given access to is accurate or useful? I believe that you 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 know what I'm saying for people to try to you know um for people to try to put it out there like astrology defines who you are as a person like you know they can pick your personality apart and what what type of person you'll be in the future all that shit bro I ain't with all that shit my nigga you know what I'm saying I ain't with all that shit bro that shit is pseudo to me, my nigga. Because niggas be like, oh yeah, Capricorns, they the type of they the type of person that do this, man. No Capricorns a motherfucker. They some liars. They some cheater. They untrustworthy. Then you have one person be like, hey, 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 that's me. Yep, yep, I'm a Capricorn. Yep. The whole time I'm the total opposite. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, I'm looking at this shit like this nigga talking that bullshit, bro. And he up there confidently talking about yep. Capricorns, so this and that, this and that. Y'all some, y'all some shiesty motherfuckers. And people actually believe in that, bro. Your moon is in the third house. And me, 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 me. Okay, whatever. <laughs> ah. But MLK is a hero who died for what he believed in. Even though he died, his dream was achieved because we all sitting here, black and white boys and girls learning together. Hold this fucking L, young ass nigga. Fuck wrong with you, Django. MLK is a hero who died for what he believed in. No, he didn't, nigga. He died. Yeah, he did die for what he believed in. But what he eventually got killed for was not what you're thinking. He didn't get killed for bringing races together, bro. He got killed for trying to bring poor people of all America together to fight the government against the oppression of, you know, just monetary situations and just the environment. That's what he got killed for, for the workers, for the working people, working class individuals and the pay wages. That's what he got killed for. He didn't get killed for, you know, all that other shit, bro. It's not what he got killed for, my man. You know what I'm saying? About black and white boys and girls learning together. You talking about integration, my nigga. We need our own. Well, do we have a police force, bro? Are black people protected? Are we protected? Can we build our own community without getting bombed? Tulsa, Oklahoma, Rosewood? The Harlem Renaissance, gentrification? Do we have a? Do we have that? No, fuck is you talking about? But we should focus on graduating school or spend more time into creating our own income. Man, look, I'm going to just be honest on here, bro. Income is a fictitious belief, bro. It's a facade. You think you can't live off the, live off the land. You think you can't chop down trees in your area and build homes with the, direct, with the correct individuals to learn how to, you know, build them right. You know, you can have all of that. But that's just a deeper thinking, you feel me? If you want to build it in this supremacy, quote-unquote supremacy system, and just, you know, where they can redistrict things to, to man, put a chokehold on your community and your, ec your economy and a black economy, bro, they can do a lot of shit to stop shit. Big Thomas just dropped an auto-tune track. You talking about Manny Fresh and, and Pedo Man? You, you sure? Today, people would call MLK soft. Yeah, it makes sense. You're trying to integrate people. That's throwing bricks at you, sicking dogs on you, lynching your people, raping your women, putting water holes on you. You feel me? And you trying to be friends with them. They won't let you drink from the same fountain. But yeah, you want to be friends with them. What type of shit is that? That's not like a domestic abuse, you know, victim right there. That's not like a Cuban dog trying to get back with Tato. You feel me?
that's what I was thinking. But I said that and my teacher was clueless, literally looking at me wide-eyed and confused. Nah, we ain't protected, bro. What's up, LaFlame and Boomin? Koivo is trash, bro. This bitch lagging like a motherfucker. I was being sarcastic about what my teacher was saying, bro. I understand. It's sad when we look at these entertainers like these rappers and athletes like our saviors. It's one thing to influence, but look at them like our saviors, bullshit. We gotta know. Them. Who's the Arabian master? Her billionaire boyfriend, bro. Her billionaire boyfriend she trying to get married to. You feel me? That's her Arabian slave master, bro. Steph Curry to go fax my shit lagging like a motherfucker. Huh? I gotta watch this shit. Manny Fresh with auto tune. He not a big time. It's not big time as if Pedo Man not with him. That's just Manny Fresh with auto tune, bro. Lagging don't be too bad when you go live around midnight. Lies. <laughs> he fucking lied, nigga. Steph, I see you everywhere. Yeah, that nigga be everywhere, bro. That nigga be everywhere. Man. Migos from the suburbs. Yeah, they from the suburbs. He was confused like a motherfucker. Damn, ain't nobody commenting for real though. Really, really saying nothing. LOL. I wasn't sure if it was my connection. I watched the playback for sure. You know it's gonna be turned. But yeah, any more questions y'all gonna ask him, man? Facts it just dropped on World Star Hip Hop. Okay, I'm not checking it out. Damn. I'm not checking that shit out, bro. He gonna delete the playback. Nah, this one cool. I'm not gonna stay on here too long. Y'all ain't saying nothing, though. Like, people be, you know what I'm saying, asking for a nigga to, you know, talk to them, but motherfuckers don't really be saying shit. What's up, y'all? What's up, Cortez Smith? You be going hard on these motherfuckers in the comment sections, bro. I'm talking about other comment section. I'll be seeing you on all other videos going hard on people. Are you aware of the Acolis Society now? So, no, I don't. What's up, CK? The Dome? What, the firmament? Hey, bro, it's real life crazy how much worldly nonsense is normalized. We find it okay and even pay for millions of motherfuckers to create visual fantasies instead of helping others, and that's free. Of course. Of course, bro. Nigga said, thoughts on Manny Fresh with Auto-Tune? Hey, man. Hey man, that's that's real shit. Nah, that's you know the Lil Wayne influence. I don't have any questions for you. Hey, that's real nigga shit, bro. It's real nigga shit. Do you have any for me? Nah. <laughs> Do you believe in an anarchy? Eh. Nah. Nah. No. All is self. James Youngo, you got a job. How do you support yourself? Nigga want to know all my fucking information. Now, that's some... Don't be asking no super personal shit. I do have a job, but not the job you think I have. You feel me? It's independent. Or at least a family business. Damn, YouTube is freezing in the chat. Why did your thoughts change on reptilians? My thoughts changed on reptilians because of just, you know, doing deeper research on things and um, just just um, looking at bloodlines, you feel me, like the O negative and RH and, you know, just, just seeing the difference between humans and other things that exist on this earth or things that are just unknown, shit like that. DJ Academics is a clout chaser, most definitely. People that follow DJ Academics don't even realize that. They don't want to accept that he's the real clout chaser out of all this shit. What do you think about Angola prison in Louisiana? They make inmates work in a plantation literally like a slave. Angola, the most violent prison in America from what I heard. But yeah, uh, they doing that to a lot of places making, you know, inmates work like, you know. That's what I talk about. That's what Kanye put out there in 2013. New slaves. Niggas want to talk all that bullshit. But yeah, he putting it out there. You know what I'm saying? 
Artists can influence one game. Being no shout it out Migos, I swear it seemed like their buzz grew. I'm telling people you gotta notice the itch for yourself. Pulling the pieces together. Yeah, because Gambino was, you know, he put on a lot of white people to Migos, and then they dropped Bad and Bougie, which was overrated as fuck, you feel me? Beat hard, Metro Woman did his thing. I think that's his last hard beat, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> that he dropped. But, yeah, that, that shit put it out there, you know what I'm saying, and that gave them that boost to get all of that attention, and they didn't say nothing to Gambino weird ass for shouting them out. Gambino could have kept that shout-out to himself, and, you know, Bad and Bougie would have been just like a local... You know, little um, trap classic. But then they made it a mainstream shit, which really helped for the, um, which really is helping for the, the change of, of trap music. Trap music will die because it's in the mainstream and it's being overused. But that really started with Drake and Future doing DS2 together. Future was going hard way back then. Gucci was going hard for trap music, dropping classics from fucking 2006 to 2013. Really 2014. You know what I'm saying? And he wasn't getting none of that attention. And a lot of that shit harder than future shit. But hey. Y'all heard that City Girls I Take Your Man track on World Star Hip Hop. That song is from somebody else. I Take Your Man. That's from a female. I can't think of who it is though. It's a female rapper before them. Mm, but I Take Your Man. I forgot. I think that's, um, if I'm not mistaken, that's um, MC Light, I believe. I believe that's MC Light. What are your thoughts on reptilians now? Reptilians, yeah, you know, you uploading this one? Yeah, I'm uploading this one. You think Biggie was overrated? He only had two albums. Nah, Biggie was not overrated, bro. Lyrically, that nigga was smooth as fuck. Um, smooth, one of the, if not one of the smoothest rappers, smoothest flows ever, my nigga. Him, Heavy D, which he gets his flow from Heavy D, but you know, he just was more pushed, you feel me? And just had that street, you know what I'm saying, essence to his music. Where he did still make songs for females and shit. Just fat, smooth nigga, you feel me? Smooth as hell. One of the smoothest flows. Like, honestly, y'all niggas probably won't get mad at me for this shit, but Love Folk got potential to, like, have one of, you know, y'all don't see it. I put clips together. I'll do that. But Big L, Biggie, and I don't want to put Love Folk in that sentence with them, but he has sparks of, you know, Showing that 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 lyricism, you feel me? That that smooth flow of just wordplay is there. That swagger of doing that, you feel me? China not good for Africa. Look up Guangzhou, nigga. Look up Guangzhou in in China, bro. It's Africans all in that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? They have a tradition down there. It's black Africans and Chinese marrying and living together in unity. It's a city with millions of people, bro. Have you used the law of attraction? Yeah, that's manifestation. I've talked about that before. Is there any way that I can call you or something and talk about some shit like the meaning of life, life after death? Y'all niggas don't listen. I'm sorry. Y'all niggas don't listen. Goddamn lagging, missing some of your points. You'll have to watch it back. Got family and God. They say Chinese all over the place. They trying to kick them out, though. Do you ever think there ever be a sports league where there was no fixing and success? No, my nigga. No, bro. Why y'all asking shit like that, my nigga? It's done for entertainment, bro. All of that shit is entertainment. Sports in the mainstream is entertainment. They got to get the most out of it. Competition or the biggest teams. You feel me? Big L was the original. Big L is where, you know, Big L influenced Cassidy's flow. You feel me? The punchline shit. That comes from Big L. Big L started a, a whole wave of just like rapping. You know what I'm saying? For niggas that that was actually listening to hip hop. Yeah. I was old. I really. Mills Money, you sound like a nutcase. Damn, y'all going hard. Why don't other conscious speakers talk about Credo much was? He has a lot of information, plus he's in his 90s. May pass away soon. Yeah, he, you know, I've. Put clips together of Fredo Mutuan. Credo Mutuan. Nigga said not all sports are rigged. All mainstream sports are rigged. I'll tell you that. Changing faces mean anything either? Well, he said, I know you was talking about MJ Black and White video. 
had some deeper meaning behind it and I caught the part with the snow globe and the Black Panther stuff at the end. Does that mean, does that part with the face changing faces mean anything either? Damn, I said that. I gotta go watch the video again. I gotta go watch it. I don't think there will ever be a non re sports league. I heard Cavs winning this year up too. Nah, they ain't winning. And I'm willing to bet money on that shit. Cavs ain't winning, bro. You know what I'm saying? Does it feel to you as if agendas, whoever they have been promoting by, have been pushed into overdrive during the start of the 21st century? I look around and it seems as if they are, we are in prophesized times. Oh, man, here the fuck we go again, bro. Here we go again with this prophecy shit. Nah, it's just they have the, the usage of doing it. They have television now. They have these forms of putting it out there, bro. They have television. They have, you know, back in the days, they had screenplays. They had books. They had a lot of things that they would you try to, you know, manifest things with. You said that's your opinion. Nigga, put out some facts, bro. Fuck is you talking about, Sterling Evans? That's your opinion. Nigga, all sports are rigged. Fuck is you talking about? All major sports in the mainstream are rigged. But, yeah, with television, they putting it out there now. They can manifest those things. Y'all got to look into that shit. It's old shit, bro. You ain't even... Yeah, you got to play the game. Yeah, you can see. I ain't finna talk about that shit, bro. I ain't talk about that shit. Sports has been exposed multiple times for fixing. Look at the UEFA scandal back in 2015 with football, a.k.a. soccer. This is common knowledge. Then look at the steroid usage in baseball, all that exposure. Then look at the steroid usage in boxing. Then look at the, you know, PED issue in NBA. Then look at, you know, all that shit with, with soccer. Come on now, man. Come on now, my nigga. Look at the fixing of fights with refs being paid off in boxing. The mob being influenced in boxing. Come on now, bro. Shit, old news, man. Let's keep playing. All the, you know, referees that came out and had ties to the mob and rigging games and making games stretch out. Making series in the playoffs stretch out. Because more money, more games played, more money. More people have to pay for tickets. More jerseys sold, sold. Shit like that. Come on now, bro. Do you think us blacks should practice voodoo? It seems that it's looked down upon, but religion is focusing on us. Voodoo is just... Oh, my God. Donna, you're probably a female. Voodoo is just what you see the Jews do. Kabbalah, all of that. Why do you think Hillary Clinton came down and they got a voodoo priest from um, Haiti to go down to, you know, where they were at and perform rituals for them? Because they understand that they're doing the same thing. All of those people like, you know, Dambala from, you know, um, being one of those Lagos gods from, you know, the, the voodoo, quote unquote, religion or spirituality. It's frowned upon because people are so in tune with Christianity, they don't even realize that really it's the same fucking thing. You know what I'm saying? Nigga said, the sun is getting closer and time is moving faster. Hold this L, my nigga. Hold this L, bro. The sun is not getting closer and time is not moving faster. Time is an illusion. You ever think about, like, let's say, you ever drive to work and it take a long time getting there, but when you driving back from work, it feel like it was 10 minutes or like 5 minutes. But when you was driving there, it took like 20, 25 minutes. In your mind, it feel like it's just taking forever. You notice more spots. It feels longer. But when you're driving back, it's faster. Even though it's still the same traffic and all that. You ever notice that? Don't they say, time flies by when you having fun? Time flies by when you having fun. When you're going to work, it's like, oh, got to go to work. Because you don't want to go to work. But when it's over, it's like, yeah, now it's fun. Now I get to chill. Now I get to go eat all these fucking Doritos and hamburger sandwiches and drink all this Sprite and watch this NBA game and, you know, see my broad and all that. You feel me? Smoke my weed and chill, kick my feet up. That's on your mind. So, of course, time moves faster. Time is an illusion. Stop doing that dumb shit. Seven foot shooting power forward, missing wide open shots that they practice every day. Niggas missing wide open layups. Niggas fouling out in games. 
off Tic Tac files that the refs are specifically calling on certain people. You feel me? Shit like that. What do you think about B.O.B.'s conscious songs like Earthquake? Nigga, I pointed to people. I pointed that song to people damn near two years ago, bro. It's a hard ass song, my nigga. It's a hard ass video, all that shit. They don't mean, they don't double team LeBron enough. Everybody else on the squad is inconsistent to me. That shows they be fixing shit. Fake illusion, time is moving faster. The earth vibration is getting higher. Okay, believe what you want to believe, my nigga. Go listen to whoever the fuck you want to listen to with that shit. Just know that I don't believe that shit, bro. Fake illusion, time is moving faster. Nigga, keep believing that shit. Time is moving faster. Alright, whatever, nigga. Time is a fucking theory. It's a concept. It's a construct to keep y'all enslaved, nigga. People move like, oh, I don't have enough time for this. Oh, there's not enough time. Do you think that it's possible for people to reprogram their minds? Of course. Of course. The fuck? I'm just asking and intelligence. I don't have to have monkey DNA. Again, so probably white. Um, I do believe it's possible for people to re reprogram their minds. People just have to be open-minded. You feel me? You got to break it down to people. Everybody you know catches on to things differently. You feel me? Everybody catches on to things differently. Some people like the preacher style of, of, of talk. Some people like the real street style of talk. You feel me? Some people like the plain old bored style of talk. You feel me? Like, now what we have today... It's the mind, and the mind is like, you feel me? And that's how you get to him. It's just how it is. You sound like Silas the, the wise one. Grasp, brother. Grasp. Ben Chris Dockies. Yo, why did you skip my comment? I forgot what you asked. Oh, yeah, you said something about coming on the on the, on the the yeah, podcast. Bro, you got to hit me up on Instagram. I don't even know who you are, my guy. You got to, you know what I'm saying, hit me up on Instagram, Overachiever Jones. DM me about it. Your thoughts on blacks forming their own secret societies to push a black agenda. Would it take too long for it to, since they already exist, to push a black agenda? Right now, being that they already exist. Forming their own secret. Man, nigga, those secret societies are controlled by those individuals. If anything, it'll just be infiltrated. Shout out Malcolm X. Yeah, shout out him. You think Trippy and 6 9 actually get along or beefing for clout? I think they beefing for clout, bro. They clout chase. I mean, I don't even think Trippy just. I think Trippy just an emotional ass motherfucker, bro. You know what I'm saying? He might not be on that that homo shit, but he on on some you know emotional ass shit for sure. But yeah, he um all that other shit he doing. You feel me? I think he just being baited in by six nine. Six nine a king troll. You feel me? Six nine is a king troll, and he's you know getting the attention off of it. The fact that he would even try to play and bring Glove Gang into that shit and jump in that Cuban doll shit. Some weirdo shit, you feel me? Some weirdo shit. But yeah. Anime is very overrated in my opinion and I like triggering anime nerds and weebos. Okay, that's what's up. Nah, nobody gives a fuck, bro. Nobody gives a fuck. Don't you call people and post the conversations as podcasts? No, I don't call them. I we do um screen capture or just like, you know, um Google Hangouts and shit like that. What are your thoughts on dragon? Dragon what? Dragon what, nigga? Just dragon. You said mumble rap is here to stay. You don't think it will pass sooner or later? Can real positive rap music take over mainstream? Mumble rap is here to stay because the, the intelligence level of just grasping lyricism is gone now. You feel me? Kids like hearing dumb shit. The fact that dumbass shit like Famous Dex still exists, it proves it, bro. You know what I'm saying? The fact that niggas just like, you know, they, they like clowns. When you're entertained by clown shit, it's like, you know, when you take your kids to the circus, right? That's a kid, you feel me? Because you can't go take them to an opera play or like, you know, or something of just... Of just like you know a, a woke conscious lecture where they breaking down the matrix of reality because their minds aren't developed enough to understand that I'm talking about like two three year olds you feel me two three four five year olds unless they just a super special kid that understands that that's one of those geniuses you feel me 
if they're developed right. You have young kids in urban environments who have this genius trait, but yet the environment won't allow them to be themselves and, you know, grow. You know what I'm saying? That's real shit. But yeah, the intelligence level of just, you know, when you bring out bring kids out to clown shows and they doing all this circus acts, kids love it. They entertain. The fucking clown in a fucking jester suit doing all type of goofy shit. You know what I'm saying? Blowing balloons and just like air balloons and shit like that. It's 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 hilarious. It's the joy of them, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? They won't yeah, they won't allow it. Are you an indigo? I don't know. Apparently. Apparently. I don't like using like actual terms to you know what I'm saying? Label myself because nigga don't like being labeled. You know what I'm saying? You can't label me. I think 99% of rap beats today are staged. The industry wants to promote dysfunction, especially to black people. You can believe that, bro. Do you collect crystals? I used to. Some female snatched and some conscious female stole my shit. You feel me? Fine ass conscious female stole my shit. I guess I, it went. It disappeared. It disappeared one night. That's all I know. <laughs> yeah. What are your thoughts on YouTubers boxing? I know it sounds stupid. They can do what they want, bro. Let them do what they want. They need clout. Let them do that shit. Same as rhyme over and over. Yeah. Get it back. Swag. 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 Niggas don't say swag no more, bro. Niggas. Niggas replace swag with sauce. Feel me? Hmm. LMAO, good example. You're entertained by your limit of intelligence. Yep. Yep. When you want to hear peekaboo, 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 peekaboo by Lil Yachty, and you entertained by it and calling it hard, then that lets me know where your intelligence level is. You know what I'm saying? That just lets me know. Instead of visualizing the realism in life and actuality. You know what I'm saying? It's like, okay, okay, he's starting to say something. You know what I'm saying? I think of hip-hop. When I think of hip-hop, and I think of, like, a freestyle or just a cold verse, bro, imagine, like, New York City. Niggas is around, you know, the burning barrel. It's like, you know, uh, negative 10 degrees outside. These motherfuckers is in big-ass fur leather coats and just all type of warm shit with some big-ass Tim's on jean, you know what I'm saying, blue jeans on and some fucking hoodie or something and a beanie. And they just rapping around a fire like niggas just spitting. You feel me? What would be a a verse that would just you think like yeah that's New York? You feel me? Like that's that's cold. That's what I think. Like A Z or Nas or Cool G rap around some shit like that. Big L nigga, you get around there and you spit. You feel me? When you start off your delivery and all that. Now when I hear rapping, you hear some shit like that. Niggas gotta dance and do all type of other shit to keep y'all entertained. Throw in other ad libs and shit. Niggas just can't freestyle. Y'all don't get it. Y'all don't get it. Yo, you seen that Broner Gravanta tip? Why was the brother filming that? Broner gets in trouble because he don't accept his affliction. You talking about with um? I think they said that um Broner was um, molested, but yeah, Gravanta got some demons too in him, bro, cause. Them niggas, you know what I'm saying, it's, that's where that power comes from, you feel me? Just like Mike Tyson, his power came from, he was molested as a child too. You know what I'm saying? And that's where his power came from. It came from rage, you feel me? From what happened to him. Same shit here in ATL. Every artist is the same nigga, but with a different name. Do you listen to the underachievers? No, I really don't. I ain't gonna front. I see, I hope it. Why does conscious music come off as corny and superficial? Because they not actually... Willing to lay their life down on the line, you feel me? These niggas really don't be saying shit, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? These niggas really don't be walking that talk. They just be talking that shit. When you see a nigga talk, um, don't save her. She don't want to be saved. Don't save her. Shout out to my LA women. One time for my LA ho. <laughs> then you co sign Cardi B. And you all in her talking this. Super, you can do it, sis. You can do it. You got the light on you. Get your corny ass on somewhere, nigga. And then when you, you know what I'm saying, talking all this politicians doing us wrong and the government is wrong. But yeah, you performing for Hillary Clinton. I'm with her looking ass, nigga. Fuck out of here. You feel me? I seen Yachty Teen Titans commercial shit was trash. Damn, I don't even know. You said Charlemagne's name had a meaning of a man that sold slaves. 
Do you think Charlemagne is selling people out to the elite? Yes. Look at his Kanye interview. Look at his um. He do it to black bash black men all the time. He creates drama. Do y'all really know? Like all of this Me Too shit is going on. And they canceling people, right? Do people not know what you know Charlemagne has said on the Breakfast Club about women and shit like that? If we really gonna be digging in dirt on these motherfuckers, look at Charlemagne's greatest hits or Charlemagne's most savage moments. All that shit, a majority of it is done to women. You feel me? What they would call misogynistic. I'd eat a fart out of your butt. All that shit he be saying to women, all that type of shit. It's just like all type of weird shit. I can't even like name all of that shit. But he's trying to change it. You feel me? Trying to change his perception. That's why he's dropping books with you know the black privilege. He he understands he's a gatekeeper. That's all it is, bro. You targeted in real life. I don't know yet. No, I don't know yet. I ain't been followed in no shit. Probably what I don't know of. I don't think I'm that important. But I know, you know, if you create actual movement, then you will become a real target in real life. But right now, it's just like, you know, censorship on YouTube and just like, you know, other weird shit going on, getting locked out of your accounts, shit like that. But what are your thoughts on Dra? You meant to say Drake. I, I guarantee you said you was going to say Drake, Arthur Robinson. Prediction on how people will view Drake's and Nicki's upcoming albums. Drake gonna do all right. Nicki, she might do all right too, cause the Cardi hate season has started. Just like I told y'all, they will eventually hate her. Black women can't sit up there and you know what I'm saying be friends with some ratchet ass Latino woman who don't like black women for too much longer. You know what I'm saying? The industry trying to promote that. But yeah, y'all can't be y'all in the mainstream. But yet this pale Latino woman can. And she don't like y'all. Oh, them, them major strikes, bro. And she's still in a majority of y'all music. Black women music. And just, just black culture music. And presenting it as her own. Come on now, bro. It was eventually going to change, bro. That shit, I told y'all that shift was going to happen. But yeah, Drake will do all right. He got, you know what I'm saying? Nah, Drake ain't on his last leg, my nigga. Y'all keep saying that, bro. Nigga, they push, they push the fuck out of God's plan. And you know what's crazy about God's plan? I didn't even know that that shit was produced by um by my nigga. What's bro name, man? What's bro name? Nigga did the whole mixtape with Payroll Giovanni. Cardo got wings. I didn't even know that shit was produced by Cardo got wings, that God's plan song. I still ain't heard it, by the way. Still ain't heard the song. But... Nigga, Q the Fool doing songs with Zaytoven. And Q the Fool just signed to Rock Nation yesterday. He been signed for a little while now. But yeah, I said that because he got songs with Zaytoven. I don't want him to start working with Zaytoven and shit. Because them beats, I don't fuck with Zaytoven beats like that. His shit is dated now, you feel me? He really be reusing a lot of his shit. I want Q the Fool to strictly work with Chicho, you feel me? And Cardo got wings, bro. Them the ones that been putting in their work for him. Them the ones that been making them hard ass songs. They fit his style. Like Chop and Keith. But just without that major buzz, you feel me? He got, they got the style together, man. But, you know, I think Cardo Got Wings is moving up. You know what I'm saying? They're trying to put him into that, you know, just that category of just, like, certain type of, of songs. He got that old school, old school, man, Cardo Got Wings got, got beats for him, for real. He different. What are your thoughts on dragons throughout history? Dragons represent the reptilian mind, bro. Dragons represent the reptilian mind. Something that was emplaced into us or placed into our minds to make us believe and think a certain way. The ego of the mind. Do you believe in DNA splicing like the cats and being a mixture of the snake, rabbit, human, and tiger DNA? You would have to actually, you know, do some research on that. But what I do know is that a majority of humans have a DNA correlation with a lot of these animals on Earth. We have scales on our skin like reptilians do or reptiles do. We have the scales, you know. Some humans are born with tails. You call them Europeans, you know, genetic mutations, whatever. Yeah, Cardo. Do you think Kendrick Lamar endorses mumble rap so his average bars look better than most of the stuff coming out so the media can keep calling him GOAT? Yeah, no, 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 no. No, I, I don't know. That's not why. He does that so he won't get hated on like how J. Cole is. You know what I'm saying? He he said Kendrick Lamar put that out there endorsing mumble rap because he didn't want to get um, you know, hated on like J. Cole is out of nowhere. He trying to, you know, separate himself from like, hey man, look, I'm not hating on the youth, man. 
I fucked with y'all. You know what I'm saying? That's why he did that, bro. It's not because he was trying to, you know, get approval from them folks for no shit like that. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't about that. Um, they pushed fake love and hotline bling. People still call it views and more life trash. Yeah, but he's still going. And the motherfucker sold, what, 500000 first week? You feel me? What do you think is next for Meek Mills since they are pushing to him to be a spokesperson for Black America since his release? I think the next thing is to shut him down. They're trying to shut Jay-Z down. Meek got to understand. They got you out of jail, nigga. They got you out of jail. They got your, you know what I'm saying? They went against a black judge. It was a black woman judge, by the way. Or the district attorney or whatever that was, you know, being biased towards him. But they did something to black people for him. They did something to their own judicial system for him. So please believe, if Meek Mill fucks up, which I'm going to just keep it honest on here, he will. You feel me? Think nigga just going to walk the narrow path after doing all his reckless shit, jumping niggas and shit, jumping safari, you know what I'm saying, beating up Beanie Siegel. You think this nigga just going to calm down? Y'all gave this nigga way too many fucking passes. He feeling like he really got away with some shit now. They trying to make him a spokesperson or some shit. They going to, you know what I'm saying, shut him the fuck down. And for everybody to be Meek fans out of nowhere supporting the fuck out of him. When I remember that Drake shit was going on, the whole world was calling him the L King. And niggas still got profile pictures, you know what I'm saying, the L or just L with Meek Mill as a profile picture. Showed how much y'all dick riding. Now y'all saying trap views and, you know what I'm saying, more life is trash. But yeah, this is the one y'all was supporting. And then y'all saying DC4 and all this, y'all bumping that, calling it classy. Niggas is rapping over Save Me. Niggas is rapping over 1942 Flows. A lot of his shit. You feel me? We ball. Niggas rapped over a majority of Meek Mill shit. Do you watch Chronicles of Judah? Sometimes. I was talking to my social study teacher about the KKK coming from the Night of the Golden Circle. Motherfucker gave me a look then froze and said, nah, they just got mad over a war. Hit them with facts, bro. Hit them with facts, my nigga. Albert Pike. Disney, the one that's creating all their favorite fucking cartoons, was a member of the Knights of the Golden Circle, the Freemason branch, which was the same one with Albert Pike, who went on to create the Ku Klux Klan, which is just a variation of the Knights of the Golden Circle, and what they were doing was ritualistic killings for Saturn, just like that. You never heard God's plan. Do you tune out certain artists? Yeah, I do. I tune out a lot of artists, bro. Yeah, Preach and Shawty Low, I'm the man, are the same beat. Yeah. A lot of that shit is the same beats, man. What do you think about rappers that when they rap or on camera, they act less educated than how they actually are? Um, you think about rappers that... Yeah, I don't, I don't get that. When they rap... Or are on camera that they just put on the front. They, they gotta play dumb to get attention. Do you think it's weird that some people be complaining lesbians raising children, but they ain't complaining about single mothers slash grandmas raising children without a man in the household? I don't give a fuck, bro. I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? I've seen individuals call out certain things and to to push the narrative, you feel me? I, I just you know what I'm saying, people being like that. They only exist because you motherfuckers wasn't stepping up. If you talking about men saying that shit, that only exists because these motherfuckers ain't stepping up. And, you know what I'm saying? The thing about it is, bro, you got to realize that just like individuals are talking about economic power in this system. Who's the best Migo? I don't give a fuck, bro. I don't give a fuck. I, all I know is this, bro. I used to bump Quavo back in 2014, 2013. And he was cool then, but niggas was hyping him up like he just this hook killer. When he ain't. He was a odd, you know, he yeah, he used to kill trap hooks, but y'all put him in the mainstream, got him on songs with Katy Perry and all these other motherfuckers and putting him on every trap song that don't even have a real trap beat to it, thinking he gonna kill the hook when he wasn't. Y'all thinking that Travis Scott and, and Quavo, you know what I'm saying, it's just gonna be the best thing ever. Shit was whack. 
Meek Mill equal industry plan. Atlantic Records bailed out Meek Mill. Is he signed with Atlantic? I don't think he with Atlantic. Nah, Jay-Z did. That's Rock Nation, bro. Meek with Rock Nation, them. People who hate Drake after the X situation gave him a chance. Of course. Have you heard Billionaire by Rick Ross? Is that on the Black Dollar um, album? What do you consider a free thinker? Somebody is open-minded and does research. That's all. Just as it. Somebody that's open-minded and does research. The only Meek song I like is Amen. Hello, well. Okay. I tune out a lot of artists as well. Yeah, I tune out a, a lot of the artists in the mainstream. You know what I'm saying? I pay attention more to the underground than I do. I'd rather check out a Cuban Doll song before I check out a Drake song, my nigga. For real. I'd rather check out a Cuban Doll song and laugh than to go check out a Drake song. Because at least I know with Cuban Doll, she writing her own shit. And if she slightly gets better, then that's her. You will notice the difference. And if it's whack, then you get to laugh. If she toting guns and talking all this shit, you get to laugh. Do you think there are creatures slash aliens living on Saturn? Mm. Um, I have no idea. I I've said that before, though, but you know, a lot of people tend to believe, you know, Sirius B is where they actually are, or Sirius A, you feel me, they, they believe that they're over there, but you know, they have control over Saturn, or shit like that, you know, it takes doing research, a lot of research, see, what y'all gotta understand is that, I do research on certain things, but then I fall back in it, and I do research, it's so much things to do research on, see, imagine a person being... Imagine just like, you know, an individual that does research knows everything about the Bible, but just sticks to the Bible. So when a person that does, you know, a lot of research on the Bible, but also does things outside of the Bible, like, you know, motherfuckers that be like, oh, the Bible is the only book I need. It's the only book I need. So you won't understand that the things in the Bible are taken from Sumerian text and cuneiform tablets. And it's also taken from hieroglyphics and Kemet. You feel me? With Egypt. So you won't grasp that. And then you won't understand the Judaism aspect of Kabbalah. And then the African, you know, um, influence in that as well. Or Europe. And just how all of that goes into play. in quantum mechanics. And, you know, ancient, Indi ancient Indian tribe. You wouldn't know, know all of that. So if you just focus on one thing. Then if a person comes up to you and asks you about something. You'll deny it and just be like, no, no, no. That's satanic. The Bible is this and that. You feel me? But you wouldn't even understand what your Bible is about. Where those words actually come from. Or the etymology behind the words. You wouldn't even know about the etymology of something. If you just stuck to the Bible. You feel me? That's all. Do you listen to rock? I don't know if you answered this or not. No, I don't listen to rock. I used to though. No, I'm playing. Uh, you know. Well, what's that group, man? I, I had a couple of their songs on my shit. I even got their shirts, bro. Um, Forget it. Who cares? I don't think Meek won't fuck up. Well, hey, who cares? What is the purpose of us getting sprayed with chemtrails? What's the end game? The end game is just to dumb us down to the point to where we're 100% complacent with being slaves. And by slaves, they mean you work a penny a day. Half a penny a day. Maybe they're going to keep pushing to where you get half a penny a year. You feel me? That's what they're trying to push for. You feel me? That's what they're trying to push for. Half a penny a year. Because if you give the government leeway, they're going to keep pushing. They're going to want more and more to the point to where it's going to cost you to leave your fucking house. It's going to cost you to open your computer. It's going to cost you to turn on your phone to, to go past, to put in your password, bro. That's how much the, the government wants. It's going to tax you for that. So that's why I talk about with people stepping up. It's a majority of the people on earth against them. We outnumber them. But if people don't understand that, you know, they're in fear. So they don't understand that. It's on the trailer album. Everybody here knows why. Hey, love your videos. Do you think that Earth was once a moon of Saturn? Because it... Hold on. Because it looks very similar to Titan. And do you think Saturn is a good or evil planet? I think it's just a control system, honestly. I'm not really, you know just like that into you know believing that it was a um because when you view the earth or just like pay attention to the actual things that were going on 
it's more of a flat landscape so to be to think that it's an actual spear or something I think it's always been here you know I think it's always been here but to say that it's an evil or good planet I don't I don't know it depends it depends you know because I'm, I'm gonna keep it 100 Mrs. Mallow 24 you can manifest good things on this earth with you know it comes from the Saturn system that's where it comes from the ability to, to manifest comes from that Saturn system and just like the holographic images of thought the vibration allows you to manifest it so Saturn is enabling that so yes it, it is good and evil you know that's duality is monogamy monogamy a realistic concept it is monogamous it is it is it's individuals out here that can love one woman and you know it is possible but you know society has programmed people to not actually believe you know themselves they want to some females run out here thinking they need multiple men but yet the whole time that's something they've been indoctrinated with and they just come out confused as fuck who are three artists that you think are underrated and it's about to get that mainstream push? I checked out NBA Youngboy after your video and the quality is good. Um, I don't know, bro. I don't know. To get that push, three artists that are get, about to get that mainstream push, I couldn't actually give you that. They, they introduced us with a lot of people, but a lot of artists don't really want that.